creepy enough for you? Last part right here. So the air scoop is really difficult because it's got this 3 eighths of an inch and 1 eighth of an inch up here. So what I'm going to do is to give myself enough room down here, I'm going to start with the 4 inch mark on the corner. I'm going to make a little mark where it says 0 and then 0 to 3. So I've basically done this 3 inches here but I've started a little bit over from the corner. I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Put my four inch mark right on the edge. I'm going to make a mark at the three inches. And I'm going to make a mark at the zero inches. Hey guys, we don't want to mess around like that. All right, you just got back, Marshall. Let's do our work and nothing else, please. Eddie, don't contribute. So I'm going to make these dashed lines that go straight up and down here first. And now I just need to make the 3 8 inch out here and the 1 8 inch out there. This is a 16th inch ruler, so 1 8 is going to equal 2 16 So I need to just go two of these little lines out. So from the top here, and this is where it helps to have a sharpened pencil, I'm just going to make a mark that's two lines over from the zero and connect that by making a darker line. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Start on that dot I made and go two lines over. At the bottom, it's 3 eighths. So how many sixteenths is that going to be? 8 times 2 equals 16. 3 times 2 equals 6. It should be 6 lines over. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And down here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now the last part is just to connect those dots from the one eighth at the top to the three eighths at the bottom. One eighth at the top to the three eighths at the bottom. And I'll try to darken in the part that is actually our air scoop. And there you go. You'll be cutting out along these solid lines and folding on those dotted lines. Thank you.